Inspiration comes in unexpected forms, while well, many find it up above. These runners look for it closer to the ground. This is the best day ever! <laughs> People want to run fast and pet dogs. Their team name says it all. We're the good boys. Named after your dog. But even when inspiration looks like this, Eight miles in. deep, 14 to go. It can still sound like this. This is gonna suck. I mean, honestly, like, running hurts. The miles made tolerable when the good boys stick together. Are you having fun right now or are you miserable? I'm a 22 mile run. Two and a half hours out here and I'm having fun. Their fun is fast. We just shot to 6.15 on Max. Really fast. We are training for the United States Olympic Trials I'm here on, on Magnolia Road. The Olympic Marathon Trials. That means they ran 26.2 miles in less than two hours and 19 minutes. It was almost emotional. I'll leave it at that. Almost? almost. almost. <laughs> I think we were all pretty Okay, it was emotional. Yeah. I won't say if my eyes sweat or not. The teams that qualify to compete for a spot on the Olympic team are usually sponsored. They get free shoes, paid travel, stuff like that. <laughs> These athletes are not used to the spotlight. I don't know what just happened, but that was wild. That was awesome. Not prepared for the attention. How should I do with my hands? <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> they are five guys with five full-time jobs. Let's make it full screen, it's just easier. There's middle school teacher Charles. Are you going to the Olympic trials? I am, yep. Pretty exciting. High school teacher Chris. So if you're like me, you have troubles with rows and columns. Talk about footage. Garrett's in finance in the risk management space. Oh. <laughs> Kyle's a Marine, so part of his job is to stay in shape. Uh, but I mean, at the same time, my job isn't to run. It's just, uh, I, can, I can work that excuse in more than everyone else, I guess. I'm already shaking. Hard to be a, a man in the military, a man in uniform, but I think a, I think a plastic salesman uh, really takes the cake there. Even though he's a plastic salesman, Dave might have the coolest job because he gets to bring his good boys to work. There's only a, only a select few of us plastic professionals. Hi. Most people's after work hobby doesn't take them to a national stage. Oh, are we getting interviewed? On February 29th, these guys will all race another marathon in Atlanta. Are we on right now? The top three of 200 runners will represent the United States in Tokyo. It would take a miracle, uh, but I guess miracles have happened in the past. They might not go to the Olympics. No. Certainly not going to not try. <laughs> but they're competing at the caliber of an Olympian. If you're on the line, you are what you are. There's no excuses, there's no shortcuts. I mean, we get to share the race course with three eventual Olympians. It's probably not gonna be one of us, but it's gonna be exciting to be there. What up? We're about to run our first hill. This is where it starts to suck. Inspiration in the form of teachers, a financial analyst, a marine, my hair. and even a plastic salesman. Pretty dapper. A bunch of guys who run fast on the side. But that guy with that one cute dog just tried to talk to us. And still managed to pet a lot of dogs. So tell me good boys out. I think at the end of the day, we all love what we do because we love what we do it with, and I think it just makes all the difference, you know? And that's pretty special. With photojournalist Brian Wendland. So Brian, not sure if you can hear me, but I'm gonna talk anyways. Katie Eastman, Nine News.